Hi, and welcome to Bible Buddy. And today, we'll be reading Deuteronomy 28. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your holy word, which tells me of your great love and your great salvation for me and Jesus, your son. Thank you for the Bible that we're reading, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to read it to my friends online. And I ask that you bless them as they're reading your words. Um, everything that we do and say, Lord, let it bring praise and glory to Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, so let's open up to Deuteronomy 28. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to be God his commandments, which I command thee this day, and that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee, and overtake thee, and if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed, thou, blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shalt be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thine kind, and the flocks of thine sheep. Blessed shall be the basket of thy store. Blessed shall be when thou comest in, and blessed shall be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies to rise up against thee, to be smitten before thy face. They shall come against thee one day, and flee before thee seven ways. And the Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord, God thy, the Lord thy God giveth thee. And the Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee planters and goods, and the fruit of the bo thy body, and the fruits of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy ground, and in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, and the heaven to give him rain into thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend into many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath, and that thou hearken unto commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But it come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed curse shalt thou be in the city, and cursed thou be out in the field. Cursed shalt be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed thou shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, in all that thou settest thine hand unto to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken thee. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until they have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever, and with inflammation, and with extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew. And they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of thine land powder and dust, and from heaven it shall I come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, and shalt be removed in all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass shall be meat unto the all fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. The Lord will smite thee with the barge of Egypt, and with the emeralds, and with the scab, and with the itch, 
wherefore, whereof thou canst not be healed. The Lord shall smite thee with madness, the blindness and the astonishment of heart, and thou shalt grope at noon noonday, and at the the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Thou shalt be trod the wife, and another man shall lay with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not meet, not eat thereof. Thine eyes shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored unto thee. And thy sheep shall be given into thine eyes, thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. The sons of thy daughters will be given to another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand, the fruit of thine land, and all thy labors. Shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt not be only oppressed and crushed away, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs, and with a sore bosh that cannot be healed, and from the sole of thy foot and to the top of thy head, the Lord shall bring thee, and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and by a word, by all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Thou shalt carry much seed out of the field, and shalt gather but little in. For all the locust has con consumed it, cons shall consume. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shalt never drink of the wine, nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thine thy coast, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thine olive shall cast its fruit. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. And thy trees and fruits of thy land shall be locusts consumed. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, until thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes which thee commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of the heart, for abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies with the Lord, shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness, and in all want of things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation of fierce, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land, until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, oil, or increase of thy kind, or flocks of thy sheep until they have destroyed thee. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until thy high and fence walls come down, wherein thou trustedness, trusted. Throughout all thy land he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout thy land, which the Lord thy God hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, and the flesh of thy sons and thy daughters, which the Lord thy God hath, hath given thee, in the siege and in the straightness, Wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of the children which he shall leave, so that he will not give any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left him in the siege and in the straightness, wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in all thy gates, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set up to set the sole of her foot upon the ground of 
for delicateness or tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one that cometh out of between her feet, and toward her children. And toward her children, which she shall bear, for she shall eat them, for the one of all things secretly in the siege of straightness, wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law that were written in this book, that thou mayest hear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed. Even great plagues and of long continuance, of sore sickness and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee, until thou be destroyed, and ye shall be left few in numbers, whereas. Ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy God. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoices over you, to do you good, and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you, and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth even unto the other, and where thou. Shall serve other gods, which neither thou or thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations thou shalt find to eat no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have no one. None assurance of thy life. In the morning, thou shalt say, "Would God it were even." And at even, thou shalt say, "Would God it were morning." For the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see, and the Lord shall bring thee in Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold into your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Wow, that is a horrible curse that no one ever want to be in that position. Thank you for reading along with me, and I will see you tomorrow. And have a blessed day.